Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio and today a quick video to share with you that free phone effect for DaVinci Resolve that we just added to our free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Once you've done so, you'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to replace it with. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can copy and paste them into your font folder if they're on your Mac or on your Windows computer. But if you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, there is no need to reinstall the font. Just install the TRFX file and that will be good. So once that's done, you can just double click here on the TRFX file. It will prompt open this window. If you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, it will ask you to overwrite. And if that's the first time, it will ask you to install. So just click either one of those. And now let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, then here, Effect, Video to Studio and Free Startup Pack 2.0. You will then find the phone effect right there. You can try to drag it directly to the timeline here, but nothing happened. It's because you need to drop it onto a clip. That's an effect, that's not a title. Those are two different things. So let's bring some footage here in our timeline. And then here, we're just gonna drag the phone effect on top of our clip. Now, as you can see, there is a mismatch between the size of the footage and the shape of the phone. So the first thing we're going to do is going over here to file aspect control, and we're going to increase the size of the footage so it fits the size of the screen. Then we're just going to adjust the placement of the footage to make sure all subjects are centered. And here we go. Now we have everything in frame properly. Already within a few seconds, everything is working fine. We get our animation in. We got an animation out. If your subject, for example, here is moving and you want to make sure to keep it in frame, you can always keyframe the position right there of the file aspect ratio. So for example, right now everything was fine and now they start to drift off to the right. So I'm just gonna drop a keyframe right here. And when they start to drift off, we're just gonna recenter them slowly. Okay, here we go. And this, we're just gonna drag that down. So right now, if we're playing that, before they were just drifting off to the right, and now we've just added an animation on the position to make sure they stay center right here in the middle of the phone. Now let's jump into more detail on what you can do with that effect directly here in the inspector. First off, right there, you can adjust the animation length in second. By default, right now, the animation in is 0 0.5 second but you can increase that to have it uh, taking a bit more time. So for example, here we can have it uh, last for one second and the animation in and out will take then one second. You can also choose right here between different kind of animation. Right now we are in zoom in, but you also have zoom out, pan left, pan right, slide up, slide down. So for example, here, let's just select slide up so you can see another animation. And right now the phone is just sliding up rather than just zooming in. So you have all those different animations right there from that drop down. You can also adjust the curve animation, but I will recommend to just leave it as it is, but you can also just fine tune that as you want if you know what you're doing in terms of animation. Then right here, we can adjust the overall size and position. So for example, if we want to have that only on the left, we can do that. We can reduce it or increase it. So you really have a lot of flexibility in terms of where you want to place that on your screen. We've already covered file and aspect control. So you can just do that right here. And then here we have a few things, the shadow, the glow and the background. So the shadow right here is what you see around the border of the phone. It can help you create more depth and separation between the phone and the background or the video that you will have in the background. You can adjust the shadow strength. So that's basically the opacity of that shadow. You can adjust the shadow angle. So right now it's on the right, but we can switch it to the left, for example. We can adjust the shadow distance. So we can adjust basically the shadow between the phone and the background. And we have the blur which basically switch from here solid to something that is a bit more diffuse. You can also change the color, but I will not recommend that. And then here, the second one, we have the glow. So we can basically have the phone glowing, depending on the look of the footage that you have in the background. If, for example, that's something that is into like a neon style, a street style, that can just be quite interesting to have the phone glowing a little bit 
right here to give it a bit more of a realistic look. I kind of feel like the screen were shining. So you can play around here with the overall gain and the glow size of that glow and the threshold and the blend, which is the overall strength of the effect. And then lastly, we have the background. By default here, you have a white background, but if you want to remove it completely, you can here just reduce the opacity slider to zero and basically you will have nothing. Right now, you cannot see what's going on. Let's just bring some footage behind it. So now, as you can see behind the phone, we have full transparency and we can see the footage. The more you increase the opacity, the more it's acting like a layer in between the footage and the phone to help you create more separation. You can change the color of that background. Right now we are in gray, but we go, for example, here to something more black. Um, and here we're creating like a different contrast between the black right here and the white right here. You can switch it here to solid color as well to have only black, for example. You can also adjust the position. So right now, if you don't want to affect that side of the image, you can switch a part of the background right there. Then for example, here, increase the soft edge to have something a bit softer on the edge. And right now you just have basically the phone that is popping up and this is remaining untouched. So now we can just adjust the width. We're gonna get it closer to the phone and then we're gonna increase the height to make sure it's covering it very well. At any moment, you can just double click on any parameter to reset it to the default value. Another interesting thing you can do is here, you can just invert that background and adjust, for example, here, the width and the height, and you can basically use it to frame something else on the screen. So for example, here, we're gonna frame that guy. We're gonna adjust then the corner radius, and we're gonna decrease here the opacity. And now basically we get some focus on the character and some focus right here on the phone and everything else is kind of dimmed down. So there is just a lot of different way you can use that. By default, there is an animation in for the background as well, but you can disactivate that and have no animation and just that playing right from the get-go. And lastly, here with animation out, you have the same control than animation in where you can choose if you want to zoom in, zoom out, side up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment what kind of effect or title you would like us to make in the future. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contain over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.